It's Monday morning! And I am ready, you guys. I am ready to just kick Monday in the tail. I've had my banana this morning, so you know I'm loving life. It is about 9.40 on December 18th, and I am set. I am so ready. I'm so pumped to just make Monday awesome. Today is going to be day three of Santa's workshop, so I've got some things I need to work on today that unfortunately I will not be able to show on camera and I don't have anything in the background, so <laughs> we're gonna be okay. Before my shift at Santa's workshop, I need to go get some more supplies. So funny story, we have time for a funny story. So I was working on my gifts on Saturday, right? Like obviously I didn't vlog hardly anything because I was working so hard. I got to a point in one of my gifts for my sister and I needed some paint, specifically yellow mustard paint. And I'm like, I don't have yellow mustard paint. I have like bright crayon yellow, like sunshiny yellow, like bumblebee yellow, but I don't have a mustard yellow. And the funny thing about yellow is it's a primary color and so it's kind of hard to like change the yellow. And I know I probably could have sat there and mixed my own mustard yellow, but I did not want to waste my time doing that. Um, so instead I just went to Michael's because Michael's hallelujah, saints be praised, is open until 11 during the holiday season, which is awesome. So I went out, I think it was like 10 o'clock at night. I was able to come home and I didn't finish the project, but I was able to paint it all yesterday, which was fantastic. So the projects for my sisters are almost done. I just need to get like a sealer for them and I cannot find my sealer. I have a glossy sealer and I have a matte sealer and I can't find either of them. I have no idea where they are. So we have to go to the hardware store again today to get some sealers for the project that I'm working on. I also need to go to, I wanted to go to Target um, to get some new pants for Milo because he has torn through three pairs of pants in the last two weeks. I have no idea what this boy is doing at school. We did try to patch them, like we patched them, but he still tore through them. I don't know how he tore through them. And it's not like a bad tear. Like it is like a tear that goes like all the way up his leg. Like it's ridiculous. I don't know how he did it. Um, they were already torn to begin with, but I patched them, but apparently the patch did not take. And so we have to go, I have to go get him new pants. Like he only has like four pairs of pants to wear. That's not gonna happen. So I need to go to Target, get new pants. I thought while I was at Target, I could look at uh, wrapping paper stuff. So I remember as a kid um, having Christmas morning and all the Christmas presents were great, but I remembered um, noticing very at a very young age that the wrapping paper was the same throughout. So like the paper from Santa was the same as the paper from like my mom and dad or the paper from like my sisters. Like it was all the same paper. And that's when I realized at a very young age, oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> so I wanted to try to do something fun this year and we did it last year to an extent, but I kind of want to take it a step farther this year to make San presents from Santa completely different than presents from the family. This year, I want to try and do like actual bows made out of ribbon because I've never been like very good at wrapping presents. Um, like usually it's just like wrapping it up and there you go. Like I never put bows on it or anything like decorative. So this year I kind of want to try it. I kind of want to try my hand at like making those really beautiful bows out of ribbon, but I thought maybe I could check Target and see what Target had. Um, and then maybe go to Hobby Lobby to try to find some ribbon. Um, so I kind of wanted to do that today, but I do have to finish up these gifts because I need to get them shipped out by tomorrow. I have a package for my sisters and brother-in-law in Nevada, and then I have a package that needs to go to South Dakota for my parents. And I really want to try to get those mailed out by tomorrow. I've had my banana, I've had some water, and I am going to have a great day. I'm so excited of all the things I'm gonna get accomplished. Boom. So, made it through Michael's, and I actually vlogged a little bit. Did you guys like it? I was terrified the whole time, and the lines were kind of crazy, but I did it. So, let me show you 
the bounty of my excursions, I guess. We started our endeavors at Target. This is the wrapping paper that I found. It's super cute. It's like satiny red bow with super sparkly uh, white polka dots. We then went to the hardware store where I found some matte finish um, sealer. We then went to Michael's and I found these. It's like a tool ribbon business with like lots of iridescent glitters on there. And I think that's gonna look really, really cute. Um, so I have to go on YouTube now and figure out how to make bows with these. And then I had to go to Walgreens to um, fill a prescription. And while I was there, they had their Christmas stuff on sale and I found some really cute things. First, they have these white snowflakes that I thought would be really cute to use as decoration for the Christmas gifts. Um, to kind of put them on there as kind of an extra like tag or something. Um, and then I found these. Aren't these adorable? These are cute little like squishy felt gingerbread man that I think go so well with our theme in the, in the living room. Like they're so cute. So I was gonna use these to decorate the presents as well. So like my idea is you've got the gift, right? And then you've got like this big bow and then you'll have one of these like attached to the bow. And then this will be like the gift tag and on there I'll have a sticker with whoever's name it belongs to, which I think is gonna look so cute. <laughs> While I was at Michael's, I found these. These are like some gift tags. And then I found these really sparkly envelopes that I thought could also work for gift tags. But now that I've found these, I'm gonna take these back because I definitely don't need them because this is such a cute look. These presents are going to look so cute for Christmas. Like, I'm so excited. And these are just so perfect because they had two boys and one little girl left. That's all they had left. And I'm like, it's fate, it's fate. Like, these are perfect for us because there's one for me and then two for the boys. Mm, just perfect. But now, comes the time where I've got to get cracking on my gifts for my sisters. And then I'm gonna have lunch. After lunch, I'm going to work on my brother-in-law's gift. I can definitely show you what I'm doing there because I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch these. And if he does, I know my sister does, but I don't think he does. Do you, Brian? Do you watch these? I don't know. Anyway. Um, I gotta get hoofin because it's already noon and I still have several things to do before Milo comes home. So let's get going. So I have had my lunch and now I'm ready to work on the gift for my brother-in-law. And for that we need nail polish. I'm going to make some coasters uh, using like the water marbling technique where you can use like nail polish and then you put like water marble like polish on top of the coasters. They look really cool. So I'm gonna go through my de-stashed polish. I am looking for teal. I'm looking for gray. I am looking for maybe silver or like a, like a black, kind of sparkly black. Um, and then I'm looking for green and gold because they are huge Packers fans and they love watching the Packers. And so I really, I really wanna make them like a green and gold set for like game day. I will be able to find what I need in this basket. If I can't find what I need in this basket, then I've got some serious problems. Okay, so this is what I found. And I'm kinda digging these colors. I kind of like it. So she's got teal and like peacock blue in her living room. And then it's lots of gray and beige. I think this will these will make really cool looking uh, water marble for the coasters. I have a little bit of hesitations with this, but I think, I think it's gonna be good. We're going all in. We're gonna grab some teal. We're gonna pour some of this one in. Yeah. All right, let's do some of this black. I'm wondering if I'm taking too much time with this because it looks like it's already drying. Marble it, oh no, it's already drying. No! I waited too long. Okay, okay, let's try that again. That was a mistake, do over, edge a sketch. That looks really cool. Ooh, that's pretty, okay. Looks good to me. We're gonna take our thing. Take it on one side. Up this way. Hey, you guys! That looks awesome! Let's do that again! Here we go! Number two. Mustn't crush, mustn't kill. Made it! Okay, now. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! 
Stellar. Here we go, number three. Oh, look at that. Oh, that one's a good one. That one's more green, but I dig it. Last one. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, so that one is done as well. Let's do that again, but we're gonna try with our Packers colors. Looks pretty good. Ooh, ooh. I think my placement kind of messed that one up a little bit, but it still looks cool. Hmm. I think I'm losing my touch. Okay, and we're just gonna pull it up nice and simple. That's a good one. All right, so I don't know how well you can see them because the lighting isn't the best right now. We've got some really harsh light, but I think they turned out pretty good. I definitely have got some major water bubbles in most of them. Water bubbles trapped under the nail polish, but I don't, I don't know if that really, I don't think that's that big of a big deal. I mean, I'm sure I could have done a better job, but with it being my first time water marbling like objects, I feel like it's okay, right? I don't know. Um, and then the Packers one turned out pretty good. I think these two turned out really well and those ones up there turned out really good. So as a set, I think they look really good. These two I kind of wish didn't have these big gaping holes in the middle where I kind of fudged a little bit of the, the placement of the tile. But I don't know, I think it kind of works. I think as a set, these are really nice. So now I just have to let these dry and then I'm gonna spray them with a glossy um, finisher. The last step is um, after finishing them and sealing them is putting on these little footies, these little felt circles in the corner so that they don't like scratch up the table obviously because that kind of defeats the purpose of protecting the table. So I have to put these on there and then I have to wrap and um, ship them off. But that's gonna be a while because I think it's gonna take a while for these to dry because the nail polish is so thick. This is a good day. I'm getting so much done. I'm feeling so accomplished. <sighs> I've gotten a lot done today. It is currently like eight o'clock. Here is the update for today. I went to go pick up Milo from school, brought him home, and then I started editing Friday's vlog. Friday's vlog is gonna be going up late. I tried to get it done for today, but it's not gonna happen. With working on Christmas stuff and the vlog itself is pretty long, and so it's taking my computer a long time to process it. So it's probably not gonna go up until tomorrow morning, which I feel really bad about, but at least it's going up eventually. I've been trying to work so hard to get all these gifts ready for Tuesday because I just got, um, I've been texting my older sister today, and she told me that my parents are going to be going to her house for Christmas which I kind of knew but I didn't know if they were actually gonna do it because of all the flakiness that happened over Thanksgiving I just kind of assumed they're not gonna go because they didn't come for me and so they might end up canceling on her too who knows um, but she says like it sounds pretty like definite that they're coming like they have a plane ticket and everything so they're definitely coming so we kind of already figured out and like I finally put two and two together that I should send everybody's presence in one box because my sister I have two sisters in Nevada and they're all gonna be together for Christmas in Reno and my parents are gonna be there so I'm like oh I should get everybody's presents out and send them off to Reno and so that kind of puts me in a pickle because I have to get everything done by tomorrow basically my brother-in-law's gifts are done I can actually show them to you because I just put the um I put the spray on it there's nothing yeah, and there's nothing in here that can be incriminating. Um, I just put the finishing like gloss spray on it and so they look really good. Here are the finished um, coasters. And I don't know if you can tell, but like I put a nice glossy spray on them. So they're super, super glossy and they look really, really good. Like you can touch them, but I wanna wait until the morning before I wrap them because I'm gonna be wrapping them in paper and such. So I wanna make sure that they're completely dried and cured before I do that. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm very tired. <laughs> um, I'm kind of rambly, 
but I thought it would be kind of fun to maybe go upstairs and open up my polish pickup order and maybe my Erin Condren order too because that came in as well so let's go open up some boxes let's get some happy on and then I'm going to bed so here we are with uh Erin Condren and polish pickup I already opened the Erin Condren box but I haven't looked inside and then this is the polish pickup let's start with polish pickup and see what we have in here I'm gonna pull out I only bought three four how many did I get I got four yeah I got four. Let's start with Level Up Lacquer. I've gotten some polishes from Level Up Lacquer in the past. Um, and so I think this one was Alaskan Winter. Feel bad that the lighting is not better in here, but let's look at this one. Oh, this is pretty. Ooh, it's like a periwinkle blue, but it's got like multi-chrome flakies. That's really pretty. So yeah, this one is called Alaskan Midwinter. Next we've got, this looks like it's girly bits. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at all that hollow. Do you see that? Look at the magicalness. Oh, this is perfect for Christmas. This would look so pretty as an accent nail on like a holly berry red manicure. Ooh, this is so good. So this one is called Festival of Lights. So very pretty. Oh, okay, this I think is going to be... Is this Chloris to Carol? No, that's Chloris to Carol. So this one must be blush. Oh my goodness, I got layers upon layers of tissue paper. Oh, do you see this? Do you see that action? This one is called Countdown Kiss. Look at that. It's like a lilac hollow. Ooh, that is so pretty. All right, and then the last one I picked up is from Carolina. Chloris to Carol. This is the, the tomatilla one, or the tomate one. The Guerra del Tomate. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one looks so good. This one's called La Guerra del Tomate. Mmm, that is pretty. Ooh, those pretty, pretty, pretty. I will definitely be doing a main channel video on these where I will be swatching them and doing like, you know, the bottle shots and whatnot, but those are gorgeous. All right, let's go move on to Erin Condren. So this should be the resized planner covers that I originally wanted, but I had ordered them incorrectly. Um, there was some sort of mix up. I don't know. I know I did. Anyway, we already talked about it. We already know what's going on. Um, so these should be the corrected or uh, cover sizes and nothing else. So uh, once again, they come with these little doodads. Um, they didn't give me the gift card, which is odd. So I don't know what you need to buy in order to get the, the blank gift card. And here is the actual products that we ordered in the correct sizes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so then I got this is the bigger size of my Bonita Juanita logo, which I think is so cute. And this is gonna work perfectly for that Gigantor monthly view planner that I accidentally got by mistake. Perfect, and the inside is just black. And then we've got the reorders of the smaller planners that I originally wanted for my original Erin Condren. So we uh, reordered the pink donuts and uh, ice cream one in the coloring that I wanted. I reordered the uh, gingerbread house and I reordered the poinsettias as well. So good and happy. That's exactly what I wanted. So irritated that it did not turn out that way in the first place, but now we all know we need to be extra, extra careful when we're on Erin Condren. You can make so many mistakes if you are not careful. And that is my vlog for today. Um, I am so tired, you guys. I feel really bad. Like, I feel like I should be more excited. Like, normally when we do these unboxings, I'm like super hyper and I'm super into it, but I'm just... I'm, I'm beat. I'm so beat. I'm gonna go check on my stuff downstairs. I'm pretty sure the vlog is still rendering. I really don't think I'm gonna get that up tonight, unfortunately. But I tried. I tried. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna let you guys go. You all have a good sleep, and I will see everybody in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.